Hello everyone, Super Mustache Pika here, and welcome back to Dragon Quest. <clears throat> um, in the last episode, kind of walked around a little bit. Um, in between episodes, I did do some level grinding. Um, yeah, I am up to level 9. Um, yeah, as you can see the stats. Um, and I had had per I had gone to some villages off some... I went back to Garen, or Galen and purchased some equipment. I also went to the other village where we're going to be heading next. And in today's episode, we're going to continue, we're going to explore the eastern part of Alfgard and then also we're going to head towards the uh, swamp cave or rocky mountain cave as it's called. Uh, the monsters shouldn't be any problems. But yeah. A she slime, no big deal. Um, I have recorded almost the entire the entire playthrough already, so I'm just getting some getting the voice recording in. Anyways, we cross the bridge, we're going to come across some enemies here, a Dracolite. Um, they can cast Sizz. That's about it. Nothing too threatening. Um, I did a lot of level grinding in the southeast area of this village, but here we come to another, a new village. This is the village of Cole. And if you remember in Dragon Quest 3, this is where we got the Sword of Kings. And it was a more... And there's some other stuff here, but yeah. This woman talking about this this woman here, Claire, her husband went to a town south of here and hasn't come back. Anyway, so the Sword of Legend is not to be found in this establishment either. Treasure to be bought and sold. Yeah, if that's a hint towards Dragon Quest 3. That's where you would buy it. Because in Dragon Quest 3, this is where you bought the best, the ultimate sword. But here, yeah, I purchased an iron iron axe, iron armor. Um, I'm going to grind for gold to get a full plate armor. I'll probably do that in between episodes. I should get some gold during this time in this episode because... I'm going to be covering a, a little, quite a bit of the area. Like, basically the top half of the map. Talk about Rimindar. We're going to walk over that for now. Have we set south to, this, to the Isle of the South? No, we haven't. But if we search here, we find the Fairy Flute. Um, we will... We, if we talk to some other villagers, they, someone mentions about this, but yeah... It has a different use than in Dragon Quest 3. And I'll explain that when we get to that. Oh yes, this guy's talking about and he's talking this guy's talking about a puff puff. He must have seemed to really enjoy it, but here we can search these dressers. We find a set of plain clothes. We'll just sell those. Nothing useful. In here we find nothing useful. In here we find AC to strength. I'm gonna use that later. Ah, Puff Puff for mere 20 coins. Sure. They don't really explain what a Puff Puff is, but the best... It doesn't take that hard to figure out what it is, so... <laughs> the best rendition is, of course, Dragon Quest VIII. I'm not going to say explain it, but if you've played the game, you you know what I'm talking about. Here, this guy knows where the blood of Eredric, but apparently no one else does. We do not have the weapons to defeat the Dragon Lord, so. Um, we don't have any access to keys yet, so yeah, I'm going to have to come back and talk to that guy later. Pure tones of the fairy. Yeah, this guy tells us about the fairy flute. And his poise possessed of a weakness. Yes, all right, but anyways, we'll... We'll talk to this last villager. Yes, and he kind of gives us a hint of where we can find Princess Quaylen. 
since she's been kidnapped. Um, we're not going to do that for a while yet either. We are still under level. I think we'd get... I'd probably get destroyed quickly. So, anyways, going to sell the plain clothes. All the money is the better. And I'm just going to sell the Chimera Wing. I really don't need it because I can just walk back to Tanteagle before I explore the Rocky Mount. The, the, next, the next cave we, the cave we can go to. But yeah. But west of Cole is actually another area I just want to show off. We, we're going to have to come this way a little later. Um, in this area, you'll fight the weaker monsters. You can come across some of the other monsters you can find around coal. But, yeah. But, back to going in between episodes when I was doing some grinding. I was actually fighting some other monsters. Well, including this one here. We have a scorpion. Hi, not that... Nothing to worry about, but, yeah. But no, I was fighting, there's a monster, there's a chance of coming across a monster called a skeleton, and they drop like 40 some experience and 60 gold, I think, or I might be wrong about that, I'd have to check when I, if, if I fight one on screen. Um, but yes, we need to be, this, this stage is telling we need to be tested, we need to, somewhere in the world we need to find a harp, uh... And if we find this said harp, he will give us the Staff of Rain. So, we won't be doing... That will be... We'll all be doing that in a couple episodes in the future. So... But yeah, I already had a couple Chimera Wings, so I'm just going to use one. I, I should have walked back, did a little grinding. But I'm going to... I'm going to... Drop some stuff off here at the vault. Preferably, I'm going to drop off the Seed of Strength and I think one of the Chimera Wings because, yeah. Also, you notice I have a Leather Shield um, in Galen. I could I could be grinding for gold and buying an Iron Shield, but I'm go not going to at this, not at this moment. <clears throat> but yeah. Um, no, that should be all. So, I think we're ready, so... Yeah, I got enough room, so... That's the one thing I didn't like about this version of the game. This version's a little better, because you can vault items... You no longer need, or you want to store. Unlike the NES version, where you have limited slots, and there are key items, and you can't really... There's nowhere to put them. So your li inventory space is rather limited. But we recover, restart our MP. I'm not going to save. There's no point. And let's head west. We're going to head west and north. we got to go around this way to go to the mountain, around these mountains to head to the Rocky Mountain Cave. Uh, a Drackey. I know the music is just. I love the, this rendition of the music, but anyway, yeah, another. Um, I'm not gonna edit out any battles because they don't take that long. They're not that long of a fight. I will probably edit out, you know, traveling because it. You do travel a little faster in this game, and here's the monster I was talking about, the skeleton. This is the monster I was fighting. Oh, fighting over by coal. And grinding. It's the strongest monster you could come across around coal. And yeah. And it gives you 25 experience and I think 40. Okay, what's going on? Okay, there we go. And 42 gold. I don't know why I was lagging there. But yeah, that's how I was able to do a little money grinding and level grinding. Because you fight four of them. I mean, yeah, you're leveling up. But anyways, this is the Rocky Mountain Cave. And of course, in between episodes level grinding, at level, I think, 6 or 7, I got Glow, or Radiant. So I no, don't need torches anymore. 
and I'm kind of looking at a map here. I don't know the place like the back of my hand, so. <clears throat> there are a few treasures here, and there's... Um, and if anyone's played the NES version, there is the trick to do the infinite money, which requires this cave, so, yeah. But that's just for Dragon Warrior. That, I don't... It does not work in this version. So, anyways, there's the stairs down, but I don't want to go that way quite yet, and that's the wrong stairs anyways. So, let's head over here, open the chest, and we find some more gold. Good. And here we have a Prestigator. One shot, done. And why am I going... Oh, I think this is the wrong way. Alright. Yeah, I think I went the wrong way. Hold on here. Check the map. Yeah, I went... Yeah. I should know better. If you see that I'm not moving much, I'm just checking the map here. And Alright, we gotta go this way. Um, there are some new enemies around here, but nothing too in intimidating. Like, I'm not worried about fighting a ghost. Ugh, I need to use a different stylus. It's not cooperating with the... The... Yeah. Hold on. I gotta recast glow here. I, sorry if I'm not sounding so enthused or exciting right now. I'm trying not to, you know, I'm not, I'm, I'm just looking at the map, trying to figure this all out and stuff. So just hold on. Okay, we go down this way. Um, there is a couple, there are a couple items, like right here. But first, here we fight a droll drone. Um, you can only fight this guy here in the cave. He's an exclusive monster for the this this swamp cave, Rocky Mountain cave, whatever. So I don't uh, know. I think you can find him find him in another dungeon kind of area, but yeah, I think yeah, yeah I think you do. Um, anyways, there for gold here, a torch, waste of space. I don't need this anymore. I'm gonna just discard it. Let's just, all right, there's a couple more. Well, there's nothing up there. We'll come down here, there we see now there's another treasure. There's with some torches around it, so it might be. Here we fight a fight geist. Um, critical hit, now I'm gonna get a chance. I think it can, ca I think it casts his. It's just the second stronger, it's a str slightly stronger cousin of the ghost. Nothing too worrisome. Here we get a Drachima? Yeah, Drachima. Cast says it's a slightly stronger version of the Dracolite, but yeah, nothing too worrisome. Mm, I'm just going to use an herb. I want to conser conserve my MP. In here, we get an Iron Shield. That's why I did not buy one in Galen between episodes. So I'm going to equip it. It's a lot better than the Leather Shield, obviously, and... Yeah, my defense is up to 36 now. And I'm going... Okay, my defense is 36 now. I'm going to equip it, and... It increased it by 6. So, that's good. Um, The leather shield, like, could sell for 45 gold, but I'm just going to discard it. Because there's a couple more items here I want to get. Um, I think there is a chance that one of these chests that has gold... Gold has a chance of dropping, I think, the cursed either necklace or belt. But here we find a Ledgerman, um, or a Warlock in the NES version. Um, they can cast Sleep, Sizz, and Sizz, um, you do not, if you, they put you to sleep, yeah. it could be game over. Here we find a Seed of Strength, I'm going to use that later. There is, there is a point in the game where I will be using the seeds. 
See the magic that gives you a chance to increase your MP between 3 and 5. See the strength. You have a chance of increasing your strength from 1 to 3. By 1 to 3. And here we open this chest and we find a warrior's ring. Some people may think otherwise, but I consider this probably the most useless item in the game. It does not increase any of your stats. I think by checking other playthroughs and information and stuff from other what other people have said, it's supposed to get it's supposed to increase the odds of the weaker monsters running from you in battle. I'm just gonna equip it now, but I think for most of the time it's just gonna be sitting in the vault. But yeah, it does not increase your stat. None of your stats are increased. There's no. I, I think it was bugged in the NES version, but I don't know. But anyways, I'm going to well, I'm gonna first get into a fight with another Ledgerman. But I think after this, I think I'm gonna cut. I th I'm gonna cut out exiting this. Yeah, I think I'm gonna cut out exiting the swamp cave here, and I will meet you back in Breckerty. And we're back. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I probably butchered the name of this village. I like calling it Tantago Village, but whatever. Anyways, we're gonna unequip the ring. And we're gonna put that along with the Seed of Strength and the Seed of Magic in the vault. And with that, as you can also see, I have over almost 2,000 gold, too. I mean, I got into a few battles. I didn't even check to show my stats if I gained a level. I don't... I don't think I did. But anyways, we're going to finish this up here. And with that, I'm probably going to end the end the episode here pretty soon. So... Um, but first, I'm going to show that you can leave money, unfortunately, in increments of 1,000... Later, a little later, we can. I'll be grinding for gold. But with that, I'm going to end the episode here. So in the next episode, we are going to 